hear what they say Long ago, we're on our way Escape to reality Escape to reality Escape to reality Escape to reality Woo-hoo. Hello everybody, it's Justine and <laughs> from Escape to Reality Man, you With blew my up. <laughs> Let's redo it. Okay. Oh, I kind of liked it. Yeah. We're going to oh, keep right, it. All right. Hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> it's Escape to Reality. It's uh, Geneva and... Justina. That's what they told Hustin. me my Spanish name was when they came to my... No, no, Juanita. That's what they told me when they Juanita? came to my class really? when I was a kid. Mm-hmm. No, I think that's wrong. <laughs> the Spanish-speaking people... The, that I work near, mm-hmm. they call me Justina. So I think yeah, it's I think Justina. Justina. Yeah, it's I like that not too. Yeah, Justina. Hola. Uh, we're here, 90 Day Fiance, happily ever, never. Um, happily ever, go fuck yourself. Right. We're talking um, the latest episode of that. Can I tell you, I'm um, captivated by Elizabeth and Andre. <laughs> me too. They're just both so out They're of touch. They're my favorite it's like couple. Insane. It's just. Who would have thought? I thought they'd be a sleeper. So the show that's on, there's so many of these shows happening right now. The show that's on after 90 Day Fiance. Is 90 Days What Now? Okay, because I, it just kept playing. A, it's hard for me to like commit three hours to a program, but I was like finishing my notes and so I was, it started playing and it has John and Rachel. It had Tariq Asuelu, right? and his brother and Asuelu. It's like all the people, but it's like. It was almost like a catch up. Like there wasn't much new content. I yeah, know. I think it it's like weird. an internet. I thought it was an internet series. But and then the pillow talk. We. I'm sorry, everybody. I wish we. We should. We, could do we, it. we will do it someday, but it's will just we? hard for. We got a lot. lot. Yeah. So I guess for those of you out there listening, we're cooking us. babies. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, we got things going on. But if you watch those three, so Happily Ever After, whatever the fuck, and Pillow Talk, <laughs> let us was. let us know what you think. Hit us up on uh, Instagram, Escape to Reality Podcast, or hit us up on the DMs and Twitter at Escape to Pod. Let us know which one is actually worth our time because we should watch something like that in the in the interim. But I don't know what's going on. Yeah, so let us know. It's hard if. I swear they could just wrap this shit up in an hour and it would be so much more. Yes, I I know the two hours is, 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 I don't know what's wrong with them. Um, but before we dive into the episode, we'll do a little celeb gossip. Oh, sorry. And just one more thing about this disturbing TV show, the, um, sweet home set tuplets. Oh, I mean, my fucking nightmare. How, how do they afford this? Like, really? How do you afford six children with another kid? Was it, it two six other kids? kids alive? And, or maybe it was not. I thought it said yes. set tuplets. Maybe no, seven. Sex, no, sex tuplets is sex six. Sex tuplets? Yeah. Six tuplets. Oh, oh, maybe because they don't count the other two hidden children. Because <laughs> right, there's the other, eight. Right. So they have eight total. And, and they're just mommy and daddy, them. too. Their lives it's, are gone. It's, oh, of course. Think of if they get older. It, oh, six. I'd be smoking a pack of cigarettes in the back and my parents. They'd probably go out and be like, hey, and they don't even care what those kids do. Oh, they Eight years old, they're probably... Less. You know what I saw? Um, Somebody put on Instagram and it was like me to my daughter. Like she said, like, I'm going next door to my neighbors. It's like, okay, text me every five minutes to let me know you're okay. And it's like me to my parents. Hey, I'm going to pay in an abandoned quarry. And then (laughs) the mom's like, be back by dinner. You know, it's like (laughs) so so different. different. Totally. We were just running around as kids. Nobody gave a shit where we were. All right. What do we got gossip wise? All right. Oh, my effing G. So, for the Bravo fans out there, the beloved couple friendship Ugh. of MJ and Reza so has shit the me. bed hardcore, <laughs> and it got insane. ran over 15 times by a school bus full of children. Like, it is happened? horrible. I can't it, believe honestly, it. Honestly, it really makes me sad. Like, this one, I always have loved how, like, deep their friendship was, and this is really sad to me. They've had sex with each other <laughs> in the <laughs> shower. I mean, did you see? So he put up like screenshots of the text, like of him reaching out to her after the birth or whatever. And did you see like? And his caption was like, "Oh, she's evil." Da da da. You saw what Golnessa commented? No. Was, oh my god, she commented like, um, "I'm so glad we all finally s- you finally see what she is, like the devil that she is." But we will keep praying for that child. Like, 
it's crazy. Usa. <laughs> right? I mean, it's and then the footage of he got a restraining order on Tommy. The footage of Tommy ripping apart their house is so disturbing. Their front yard or whatever it is. And it's right on a main street. Like Tommy's got balls of steel. Oh, it's so sad. That's some real East Coast Jersey that's New York shit. Some trashy shit. That's and that's real. psychotic shit. And that makes me really like you just had a baby. You should have a calmer demeanor. You should be 100%. at home with your baby, yes. not worried about trashing Reza's house, you psycho. Sad. It really bums me out. And like this seems like something they're it's not going to do. Some Jason come back Hoppy from. shit. Yeah. 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 It is. Tommy seemed like a nice guy, but nice people don't do that. No, that's real aggressive. It's he looked really skinny sad. in the video too, didn't he? Did he? I didn't watch a video. I just saw oh the my god, the video is disturbing. He looks like a little Tasmanian devil. I'll, I can't I'll believe it. it. You know, you can tell that he's crazy just because the way he talks, I guess. But yeah, it's sad. And then yeah, restraining out. Um, Reza's coming out to say like she she didn't get the money that she wanted for the new season it's it will be missing without mj oh 100 percent. she's a whole situation it yeah it's oh god what a bummer the show's over yeah i would agree irreplaceable Sucks. yeah what else r.i.p um okay i saw that picture so you said in the picture you sent me a picture of leonardo dicaprio and brad oh, pitt and cons looking hot huh cons and it, yeah can. Is it, can oh is it can okay it it's can? just can like fran Cans? drescher uh, cons? I okay don't, no i, I think it is can i think i always get it wrong i always fancy it up you know but maybe it's not as fancy so there must be there for that once upon a time in Hollywood. Yep. I just watched the trailer. Did you see it? I did. I think it looks good. It does. I love I'm not a huge Quentin Tar- Tarantino movie fan, but this one oh, looks I, good. I love his messed up brain. Of but course you do. Yeah, he's so mental. I don't want to have Pitt, sex though, with him. Like they both look good there. That's the they goodness they look looked in a while. Smoking hot. Right? That's what I was thinking. I was like, okay, this is the Brad Pitt I remember. This is also the Leo I remember. I feel like oh he's been in a scruffy God. stage for a while. On the TV, on the movie screen, they both look really good. Yeah, yeah. It's the best Leo's looked in a while because I haven't thought he was good looking in a long time. Agreed. Yeah. And Brad Pitt is such a freak of nature. I know, right? How does he look like that? I mean, he, but he also went through a rough phase. I think Angelina was poisoning him or something. Yeah, <laughs> she he was. He was Allegedly. getting the... Wendy Williams treatment. Right. Um, He's so hot. Yeah, he looks good. I saw... God, um, oh, my God. I already told you that. I, I'm going to see Aladdin this weekend, so I'll report back. Oh, my God. You're a freak of nature. I was going to ask you about Aladdin. Oh, my God. I can't believe I was going to ask you about that. <laughs> what? That's so weird. It. No, no, no. It's just weird that I was oh. thinking about it. Oh, yeah. I think it's... Are, you, think are you going with your husband? Yeah, probably he'll fall asleep in the first three seconds. I made him go see the live action Cinderella <laughs> and like he literally Aladdin should keep him awake longer snoring. We saw Avengers. Oh, God. So we saw Avengers three hours. Weekend. It was rough. Three hours is too long. I don't give a shit enough for three hours. Are you into Avengers? You wouldn't I mean, go without him, right? I've seen them all. So like, I guess I like. But honestly, it was like, I can't do movies that are that long. Like, it's no. just, it could have ended an hour earlier and it could have been an hour shorter in the beginning. It could have been an hour movie. <laughs> Three hours. Yeah, it's too long. Um, in other, okay. So in programming, I know we watch a lot of Netflix things. But I can't wait to see Will Smith though. I'd love, uh, real fast, Will Smith was on Ellen. I saw a clip of him. He is the foxiest. I just have a, I just love him so much. You do. And I grew up with him. And it's just sad to see him getting older. And I just don't want people getting older. Yeah. Paris Hilton's 38. What, is she going to be 50? I mean, she can't get old. It's like uh, life is just going to be gone. <laughs> Paris Hilton, I like how that's your best I saw life. her on Watch What Happens Live, and it's like, damn, she's 38? Like, yeah, how is that possible? All right. Sorry. Um, okay, so Netflix, uh, the show called Jailbirds. Some people have hit us up on Twitter about it because obviously there's a there's definitely a okay (laughs) so let me just tell you so the show follows you got to watch it it's not there's no children so you won't get depressed (laughs) 
it's, it's set I'll in, check it out. So it's like following inmates in the Sacramento Sacramento County Jail. So like you know, I saw Northern a tweet California. that a girl got back in there. Yeah, oh my god, that mugshot. So Megan say, Hawkins. Oh my god. Uh, she has a tattoo that says "Monster" on her forehead. So that tells you. Oh all my you god, know. there it is. She's not staying out of jail long. Look at those um, eyebrows. Oh my god, look at earlobes. Oh my god. Yeah. So the show She's got is pink eye. in a high rise, like in Sacramento. Like, so where they are housed, the jail is like a 10 story uh-huh. building. Wow. So <laughs> get this shit. They call, they, there's males and females housed there, obviously on different floors. And to talk to each other, <laughs> they've created this system. It's really ingenious of talking through the toilets because the toilets are all in the same position on each floor and they call like if they meet somebody they're like yeah so i met him on the bowl like meaning like the that toilet is bowl. nuts and then the sickest what part, are they sticking in there to talk exactly what so was they, it though they what use was that? like layers of like styrofoam cups to like talk to each other oh and my then, god wait for it they send each other shit through the toilet using this elaborate like tying thing with like they tie like like shit and then feed it through and they're like all right ready flush one two three and then they like pull it through and they're like communicating like through the toilet and they're like in love with each other guys are talking to multiple chicks there's this one guy who's talking to like four women at once they're transporting through the toilet yes Yes, you have to criminals are the smartest people they should be running the world so it's six episodes um that's it yeah it's an easy watch you gotta watch it it's what are these people in for do they say ranges some of the shit's pretty gnarly like i mean a lot of burglary looking at these people right now grand theft auto the one i miss you (laughs) um the best is that we see the jail burrito getting made that we learned about on love after lock wow a lot of the sketchy food shit we need Um, a criminal cooking show it's i mean the shit they're making looks absolutely inedible but they're like all into i mean you nothing fresh on time yeah yeah but you got to check it out. Me- meeting on the bowl just for that alone. It's like an absolute. Wow. Classic. So if How you guys haven't. You haven't watched it. Jailbirds on Netflix. So they're in the high rise. And so everything's just toppled on top of each other. Yeah. Oh my God. It's crazy. And they can like see. <laughs> they can see down to like people. So they get like a little bit of time in this like open ish area where they can like yell out. So you hear the inmates like yelling down to the street like, hey, fuck you. It's crazy. Oh, they're yelling out <laughs> from the window or to yeah. each other. No, out the window to like. Can they ever see who they're talking to on the bowl? Uh, No, they never see each other. They send photos to each other through the thing. Wow. It's it's like the bank teller thing when they used to (laughs) shoot the bank money up. I used to love that shit. That was the greatest thing ever. Right. Why don't they have, they don't have that anymore really, do they? they? I never go to the bank anymore. What's the point? I taught my, I taught somebody the other day how to use mobile deposit. She was like, what? (laughs) I'm like, what? Taking the picture? The fu- yes. Of like your check. I'm like, where, where were you raised? <laughs> <sighs> oh, right. Tyler still doesn't have online banking. And then he says, I can't get on there. And I'm like, you need to check your bank account to make sure people aren't stealing money out of there. And uh, there's things like that happen all Why the time. Why does have online banking? And he says, oh, I got it set up. And then two days later, <laughs> I can't log in. Now I'm locked out. I'm not going back there and talking to the lady, Justine. I'm like... I just can't with you. Jesus. All right. Um, Wow. You know. You got to watch. Just watch Jailbirds. Six episodes. I love it. The other show that I would recommend if we're on the topic is Society on Netflix. Have you heard anything about this? So the concept is like these kids who live in this town. They're like seniors in high school. And there's like some kind of weird smell in the town. And they like are getting bussed away to go to a camp for a week. And then they're like. They wake up later that night and the guy's like, all right, you're back. We couldn't um, like we couldn't make it. So you're back home and like drops them off. But like everybody in the town, like all their parents and the older people have like disappeared. And so they're all like huh. young trying to navigate it. It's pretty good. I'm wow. A couple episodes in. Interesting. Entertaining. If anyone's watching it, let us know. Yeah, I started dead dead to me a little bit. About I've four heard it's episodes good too. In. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, I wonder where it will go. So yeah. I wonder if it's yeah. All right. Okay. Well, before we dive into 90 feet, 90 day fiance, <laughs> um, as always, please rate, review, and subscribe on Apple Podcasts. Hit us up um, on Instagram, which we love, at Escape to Rally Podcast. 
and Twitter, Escape Two Pod. Justine will be picking our tweets of the week coming your way. Better make them good. All right, so let's dive into the episode. We're gonna start with Colt and Larissa. Oh, society. That's interesting. I gotta. Yeah, yeah. Check it out. That. Um, Colt and Larissa. She's coming through in the leopard dress, <laughs> um, which of course I loved. She uh, says she trusts Colt. She looked 20. good. Yeah, she did. Yeah, she yeah. she trusts Colt twenty percent, which is the foundation of all, all great relationships. There's um, nothing. To, I guess. I mean, I their trust isn't their issue. I wouldn't have thought that, but. I mean, yeah, right. Just like they're on a date. He tries the whole "let's meet again" thing, which made me want to throw up. Um, let's. <laughs> I love how that he brings up Debbie on the date. You must respect her. Um, I need how do you. you to feel? <laughs> I need you to step it up. It's like, oh my god. How do you feel about De- Debbie? Let's talk about her. Right. Like it's another woman. I know. <laughs> um, she wants a Chanel. Um. She really blew a negotiation. She started with a Chanel, <laughs> then she went to a thousand, and she finally settled on a three hundred dollar allowance. So. Two hundred. Oh, two hundred. <laughs> well, th- well, I love how she's like. Colt offers up a prepaid credit card, and she oh, starts like, God. "What is going on right now? It's what gen- so what- weird? Are we in nineteen forties?" And then he's like, "Could you survive on two hundred dollars for thirty days?" I'm like, "Could you?" Oh my! What, the- what, what does, does that, that mean? mean? Two hundred dollars. <laughs> Like living life? No, I fucking can't. She wants a three thousand dollar Chanel. He o- he owes that to her. I mean, listen, who doesn't want a Chanel? <laughs> <laughs> no, the line, the absolute line of the episode, and I'm jumping ahead, and we'll get to like the lip thing. But <laughs> when she says he sa- he tells her she sounds like a prostitute, and she responds with, "Wives are the most expensive prostitutes ever," which I, like, I just like <laughs> honestly, that, I'm like- she has moments of brilliance where I'm like, that is. <laughs> fucking hilarious i can't she well, just she's like i just want money 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 crazy and he's uh, like you know we're coming out of like the apocalypse and we're gonna we gotta be partners and oh my so god weird. um also the worst interview look i've ever seen him in in that purple shirt Do, you he's, saw it he's right so nasty like, yeah dorian were like dorian was like are those his tits like at the bottom, I'm like no, that's like his stomach. He's like no way. That's a, he that's should. A- he could wear a bra. Sadly, I feel bad. You know, <laughs> he could definitely wear a bra. He needs the support. He needs a How bigger shirt. Ha- How does he have boobs like that? I don't know. Some people just they're bad bodied, and obviously he eats terribly. What is going on? It almost seems like a fake relationship now, though. <sighs> yeah, it does. Um, Doesn't seem real. There's no I mean, way they're having sex. I, she, she makes it sound like all he wants is sex. Yeah, and she's, she's offering him up blowjobs. Yeah, and, she's trading. She's trading lip injections. Can you imagine what's going on there? I know it's crazy. Um, I love how he like one day like we're leaving the date. He was like, "Okay, so what we got to do is budget, communicate." My mother and she's like happy love. It's like what? What are you guys saying? <laughs> Just words? I don't. <laughs> He's obsessed with Debbie. Obsessed. You should be worrying about going home and banging your wife, not Debbie. He's really worried about Debbie. That's all he cares about. Um, three thousand dollars Chanel bag. Yeah, Larissa, come on. She went from three thousand to two hundred. <laughs> like, and then one uh, one thousand dollars prepaid credit card. How about you? Most people. What you does he put mean? Some like money a visa, in a bank account? Like a yeah. Visa gift card? Is that what he means? I don't know. A reloadable card. I don't. I guess he's like so weird. She's like, where's the $10,000 you said you had? <laughs> like, you think You're you not had... getting it. You're yeah. not getting it. Um, yeah, so she Like that's 100000 or something. That's gone, Larissa. Right. He should pay for the lip injections or he'll never have sex again. They're four seventy five. Um, And he also, as he pays, says, this should buy me like a year. I was like, a year? How long do lip injections last like well, he was saying like this months? should buy me like a year of happiness. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how long they last. Also, the chick doing the lip injections, if that was what she looked like, I'd be like, I'm good. I, I don't need them. No. Rough face. Horrible. That, that whole situation. And uh, then she wants filler and Botox. Of course, her whole face. She doesn't. She looks good now, but she does. I actually saw it like she got her lips done and it looks good. But like she's going to be somebody who goes overboard. I can tell. I could tell. Yeah, I'm surprised she's not chopping her face up the poor thing she doesn't love what she is 
she doesn't have enough money yet. Yeah. Soon enough. That two hundred dollar budget. Two hundred dollars goes nowhere. What are you doing? You walk out of the house nowadays. You're spending two hundred dollars. What does she do all day? I don't know. Can you imagine? So it looks like next week she tells Debbie about her children, I think, is what's going to happen. I couldn't tell what happens next cool, week. Well, because she, like, posted something about, like, how she's going to talk about her kids and it's hard and she hopes people respect her or some shit. Oh, really? Yeah. And Debbie starts crying? I guess. We'll see. Where mm. are the children? I mean. They're living a better life. Jeez, yeah. They're probably better off without her. Right. Um, Big lippies. <laughs> I'll give you more blowjobs if I have bigger lips. Like that's so nasty. Wives are the most expensive prostitutes ever. I just can't. That's the best. I love that. Oh, them having sex is like when Tony Soprano would have sex with people. It's really gross. I know, right? Uh, any other thoughts on those two before we move on to your favorites? No, that just it was hilarious with the the allowance good. and and he's sitting in there in that room like it's her dad. I know it's weird. Their vibe is so weird. And then I wonder if that lady's watched the show and knows who they are. The whole reality TV circuit, it's so interesting. It is. Um, all right, Andre and Elizabeth. Oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> so oh, my she, God. <laughs> I just say, it's amazing how I, I, there's just, there's so much. The sister so needed to here. bitch slap her. Yeah, the sister, I love, um, yeah, so she goes to her sister and she, like, walks in. She's like, I'm so annoyed. <laughs> Um, by what? Living right. the dream, you stupid bitch? Uh, seriously, the sister. I love the sister defending the dad when they talk about them moving out. She's like, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Um, and I just can't believe Elizabeth literally, like, she asked the dad for money to move out of a free house. I couldn't believe it. I was what? screaming at the TV. Like, what kind of delusion are you living? Oh, I mean, A, it works. He said yes. Right. So, like, she fucking knows, but it's like the audacity to like think you're entitled to it's that crazy. is crazy absolutely that, that they've created a monster absolute uh, absolute monster like i was literally sitting there like you're listening to your sister like literally just tell you what's up about this situation and you're acting like she's also wrong like what plan I wonder are what you daddy's paying for for those girls right With that sandwich that salami who was, was that watching, sandwich for? I, God, I was watching her make that sandwich. I'm like, what is she doing with it? She put it in a bag. <laughs> <laughs> this is how you know we're pregnant. We're like staring down the sandwich. <laughs> and she's like, and- Andre comes from a country where they, uh, the men take care of their women. It's like, well, he's not taking care he's of He's not shit. doing anything. You're pregnant. You're packing up the house, moving right. pregnant. God. Um, you know, I Chuck just... answers the phone so nice. I know. And. And she, I couldn't believe he needed to say, no, you want 100%. something you live in that house. A hundred percent. I was like, don't do it, Chuck. I was literally like yelling at the TV, like, don't do it. And then he was like, well, you're pregnant. You're my daughter. I'm not going to leave you. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Go work at In-N-Out. Go work at Chick-fil-A. Go work at Home Depot. Those I mean, people at In-N-Out seem like they're pumping crack into the or air. They're so happy. Tell him. <laughs> right. <laughs> or tell him to shut the fuck up and live in the free house because you don't have a job. Yeah, you little that? pussy ass bitch. Why don't <laughs> like, you come over seriously. here and say it to my face? <laughs> I know. Right? And like with no. She's allowing her husband to have no communication with her dad and going behind his back to ask for money like a like using this pregnancy as a fucking Same. pawn it's disgusting because he can't um, because she's pregnant i like how he's like how are she's you gonna pay the, the rent? show hope doesn't pay the rent we're like we know how she's gonna pay the rent you're gonna pay the rent yeah that's what's gonna end up happening god and he's giving her money moving and he laid it out like he and andre should have been working night and day to construct or do whatever the hell chuck needed on that house absolutely if he's if he's now gonna uh, the irony that now he's gonna try to pursue work as a handyman when he could have been fucking handing up the house makes no sense and he couldn't mow the lawn you think chuck he was ever gonna build your house right I mean, I can't believe he gave her the money. It's like he's such an enabler. It's really disappointing. He really is. It's sad. I couldn't believe it. Me neither. It's like, no way he's going to do this. And he fucking did it. And he's like, I'm really mad. He's like, sounds so nice. I know. I'm really mad right now. I'm, I'm really mad about this call. It's like, well, you fucking <laughs> did it. I would be like, I got to go, Elizabeth. I can't talk to you right now. I'm working. Uh, I mean. And then they're in on a scheme to like 
say it's an advancement and his and her dad's just right. like right along with it i know i mean it's like listen there's two to blame in this situation and unfortunately our boy chuck has part of the blame because oh yeah he's just allowing this shit to happen and it's his insane. wife should be like what the hell are you doing chuck i'm not he blowing probably, you tonight he probably fucking leaves <laughs> he, gross. he probably leaves it away from her too. i'd rather watch chuck bang <laughs> his daughter no i'm joking i'd rather watch <laughs> chuck bang his wife than watch um uh, Larissa. Larissa, yeah. Thank God they broke up. Otherwise, I guarantee you a porn would be released. She put out some videos that were very porn esque. I could see on it. Instagram. I could. Totally They're not see funny it. like Cardi B's. Right. Oh my God, it's um, wild. I've never seen anything like it. It's so fascinating. These. It really it's is. It's all about these parents enabling these kids. Now you under. Now you can see why kids are nightmares. Yeah, totally. And the other thing that really pissed me off was that he rolled up to that freaking job interview in shorts. Oh, like, I didn't really <laughs> notice, but you're oh, right. Yeah. Shorts like, so uh, what can you offer me? And then <laughs> they pay. This is what I don't understand about trucking. A, he's like, the trucking industry is not what I expected. It's like, you went to trucking school. How did you not learn what the fuck the industry <laughs> was? I don't understand. Elizabeth wants him gone, too. She don't care. He's getting paid 38 cents a mile. Is that what truckers make? That seems terrible. And I guess it probably depends on what you're trucking. Yeah, I guess. But I just love the and entitled he does, nature that he, he has a month. Want. He has yeah. a less than a month. Or and he doesn't want to take the job. It's like. He doesn't want to be on call. No. And then what if I turn down the job? Do I still get down the roster? She thought that was hilarious. She was like, are you fucking kidding me? Now. Get the fuck out of here. And he said he was driving it like an ice cream truck or something or like a frozen <laughs> truck. What was a, that? An ice cream truck. A refrigerator truck. I think he was like making deliveries or something. When was that? I don't know, for that week that he has of experience. An ice cream <laughs> truck. Can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, little kids. What would you like? Oh god, I don't think that's a I can't trucking experience. believe her dad. I know I can't either. I also he like, should be ashamed of himself. I I know it's so he needs. If there's honestly, a point when you, you don't you needs, care about your kid. I get it, but he needs like therapy. He needs like an intervention for them to be like you're not helping your daughter. You're just enabling no. bad behavior. Like it's, it's sick. Really bad. It's sick. I've never seen anything like it in my life. <laughs> when they went to the used store, the used clothes store. She's like, oh, these shoes are cute. A, they were like for like a five-year-old. And then he was like, oh, someone's dirty feet. It's like, <laughs> you're at a fucking secondhand store, bro. Like, I don't, it, like, again. You trashed so up delusional. that poor house. I guarantee that house was trashed up with that German yeah. shepherd. Yeah, I think so, too. And the German shepherd crapped all over the lawn. Yep. Dug holes. Yep. Bit Chuck's dick off when he walked through the door. <laughs> I just, situation. I mean, I've on. never, I've never like hated i just i hate the way she's acting is so disgusting to me i can't even deal with it it's terrible and she's taking advantage of her poor dad and the dad's just letting it happen and i can see her when she's 16 like i don't want to use car dad oh one totally. a mercedes yep 100 percent. all right Liz- all right libby Ugh, gross and uh she tells him to shut up in the store i was surprised i was like, i was kinda- too I thought he was going to back like, him, gonna- honestly. <laughs> yeah. so I'm going to hit literally. you later. You're yeah. lucky we're in public. <laughs> That's literally what I thought. He definitely has an abusive vibe to me. Oh, yeah. 100%. He makes her choke. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Pregnancy talk. Pleasant. <laughs> uh, right. But, um, yeah, it is. Um, The dolphin really came out there. But it really is wild i've never and then they're living probably in some dumpy ass tiny apartment when they were living the, the life with a pool i know it's so stupid how could you say to yourself let's leave a house that's free to go live and pay rent i just it, it's just terrible you can calm andre down come on tr- get Teresa judice on the job <laughs> right you can control your man as she says get get it together um then move out andre if you got somewhere to go go i'm staying here with the pool yep i get hot when i'm pregnant i gotta yeah. swim yeah right I'm good, especially living in freaking tampa all right they're in tampa I think they're somewhere like are that. there alligators out in tampa is it alligators yeah. or crocodiles i think they're all over this fucking are they state. Who knows? do you have them in, in your backyard i mean i haven't seen one if i did i would move it'd be an alligator <laughs> yes i think so i think crocodiles are somewhere else Right. Wow. Nicole horses. and Ozan. <laughs> what a waste of our time. I, I know. Um, 
there's okay so there's i think you're seeing this now because like you didn't watch the season with her but like do you see that face she has when somebody asks her like a direct question about like shady shit where she just like it's like this like bold face like i'm not gonna give you shit i like i want to slap her like it really drives me nuts oh i hate her um she got no friends she's paying that girl yeah the one friend she's been around she was on the last season too she went wedding dress shopping with her um her haircut's cute yeah she was pretty she spits a bunch of bs to the friend the friend's not having it Nicole um, will murder her and skin her alive. She also mentioned, I'm going to Grenada in the Caribbean. Okay, how are you paying for that? Right. And it's set up in two weeks. How? Are they right. paying for it? I mean. That's so weird. Um, yeah, and so she was like, oh, yeah, because like when she asked her, she's like, so it was like cyber cheating? And like she just stared at her. I'm like, what's the answer? Like, right. I, it drives me nuts. Why are we watching this shit? I don't know. It's a complete waste of time. Like, compl- I don't understand. What's the appeal? Like, as if you're a producer, what are you getting out of this? You're not getting shit. Why are you doing this to us? There's plenty of other couples who could get more, out, way more out Agreed. of it. Drives me nuts. I mean, you haven't even seen Ozon other than FaceTime for longer than three seconds. So this is not a couple. Ozon's, they've probably never had sex. They're never going to have sex. They're no. never going to hold hands, anything. This is a catfish that have met in person. That's like literally what it is. Yeah, it's a catfish. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's a real life, like it's a, a live action catfish. It's boring too. Like nobody boring. cares. No, I don't. I could give a shit. All right, so we'll move on. Um, Pedro and Chantel. Oh, it's good. I hate them. <laughs> I really feel bad for Pedro. Like I really think like seeing him in the Dominican was like. Yeah. You can tell like he feels so much lighter. You know. He's so happy. Yeah. I, I hate them both. I don't feel bad for either of them, but I can't. I don't think I could watch their spinoff. Right. Well, the family is very entertaining. Um, but they're so they're entertaining in like a disturbing way. Almost. Yes, I would agree. I like how he says his boss is fine for him <laughs> being gone for. <laughs> he don't have a job. <laughs> I know, right. Well, see, so this is the thing that continues to trip me out is like Chantel and her family thinks like pedro and his sister and his mom are like some business masterminds that they're just like waiting to like start some business in the dominican like that she keeps bringing that up where it's like what do you think they are it's not freaking shark tank what are, <laughs> what are they, <laughs> they doing I, she always like thinks he's like going down there to like oh i'm starting a business it's like he's literally <laughs> just trying to like go home i don't pedro just wants to get the hell away from Chantel and that nasty energy yep I mean, the Those drive to the tits. airport, she's like, I love you. I love you, puppy. He's like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. oh, my God. I'm so sorry about last night. Right. She says, want him to go screw somebody else in the Dominican, it, which is, which it looks, I can't wait. <laughs> Next episode looks fun as hell. I can't it wait does. to see him. It He's like kissing like, a girl in a neck and stuff. He's like, I may have messed Don't up. Don't go like, home. Anything? Don't go home, Pedro. No, stay. Because she will kill you. Yeah, she'll cut your dick off for sure. That's the vibe I get. She won't even give him a chance. She'll be hiding around the door <laughs> with a knife and she'll be in that Jailbirds TV show no, talking in the, the toilet. Mo- the mom will be around the corner with that freaking uh, taser. There's something wrong with the mom. <laughs> yes, there definitely is. I loved the uh, his mom when they were talking about the family Chantel. <laughs> she said the air of superiority that doesn't match up with what they have. I thought that was amazing. That's exactly it's what very it true. And I love the sisters. Like, are you upset? Drink, drink, drink. And his mom's like, talk, talk, talk. I mean, I, I can't them. keep They're up cute. with the. They are really cute. I know. I'd rather watch them. Mm-hmm. He yeah. needs a nice little girl. His sister's smoking hot too. Yeah, she is. Um, I love how when they greeted him, they immediately started giving him shit thinking he was fat. <laughs> I'm like, what's with this hair? Uh, that is great. Everybody goes to America, oh. eats that fast food. I know, right? He's paying for the house. I think that the house is nicer than their place in Atlanta, for sure. Yeah, that was sweet. That's um, nice. You know, um, I didn't realize I had seen the, the transition of Chantel's face. Yes. Interesting. Yes, it has transitioned. Yeah, I think... I mean, even the mom, she was like, you know, when my son left for America, he was happy and, and yeah. free. And now look at him. And it's like, he does look like weighted down by the shit. He should not oh, go back. Yeah. What's no, the point? no, he shouldn't. Stay, stay in the Dominican. Obviously, he goes back because they have a freaking show. And um, I wonder why they got chosen to film. And he's like, I'm leaving. I know. 
He's go. I mean, next week it definitely looks like he crossed a line. If uh, I'll tell you this right now, if my husband was doing that shit, oh, that would I not... would be on a plane in the oh. Dominican. I would be losing my mind. <laughs> you, you wouldn't. No one would want that to happen. <laughs> <laughs> you would lose. You know, I'm shit. calmer when people betray me. I'm calmer than I think. But are you? Yeah. Well, I do. I surprise. I didn't murder somebody else when I got. Yeah, betrayed, that's true. So that's true. yeah, yeah. I'm all talk. I'm all bark, no bite. Sometimes, right. but Chantel. Um, really is annoying yeah she's super annoying and the family is like her mom yeah something's wrong with the mom and i the would dad. be annoyed the- if i was like when the fuck are you coming home like you can't just go open-ended <laughs> i know it's really weird and i mean to say that your job doesn't care like there's literally i don't think pretty much a job in the world where you can just be like listen don't know when i'm coming back and they're like oh great all right we'll see you when we see you it's not happening just get on virtually we'll see you there right and- yeah it's i mean he's not working yeah it's uh, bizarre we'll see God, and then he third goodbye like no she went to hug him he doesn't hug her no, told her he great. loved her on obligation didn't get out of the car i love that too just dropped oh. his ass off at the airport she's um all right Anything just the else? way she talks drives me nuts it's like very slow and weird she's and very unlikable yeah very unlikable, it's from being agree. raised with that mom yeah totally she's that turning mom into the is mother. like yelling at people in walmart and screaming yes definitely get it go home to your own country <laughs> they'll be like i live two blocks away yeah i can't believe she's not a viral video person i know i can't believe she's honestly like not featured on like fox news or something she seems like like that type of person to me and like that she would be just like a uh i don't know she just seems like moronic i don't know good start a business pedro gives right. a shit who cares well they, they really think he's like starting like a, a mafia down there or some shit i don't <laughs> understand it's so weird all right. Um, Where is the Dominican Republic? The Dominican is like north of uh, Jamaica, I want to say. Oh, so, okay, so it's close I've to Florida. I've been there. It's very nice. Jamaica is close to Florida. Yeah. There's a lot of Dominicans in Florida and in the northeast, you know, like New York. Tons of Dominicans. Um, well, I like him and his mom and sister. They're sweet. Yeah, me too. Wait, am I right? Dominican. Yeah, it's right. It's connected to Haiti. Oh wow! Okay, so it's by Cuba. So actually, Jamaica is yeah, yeah. It's right next. Did to it, it get to and it did it have that hurricane? Right, Haiti got the what happened in Haiti? Yeah, yeah. Like Haiti's gotten hurricane? earthquakes. Oh, really the earthquake! Earthquakes. The earthquake. Yeah. And like Jamaica, because it's hidden beneath Cuba, often escapes hurricanes and stuff. Wow, interesting. Yeah. All right, um, Russ and Paula, Pow. I don't know. I mean, whatever. <laughs> I'm, i just want I them out of oklahoma city i could care less oh. um or put them in there for good <laughs> yeah or that <laughs> um, i thought the mom was gonna blow up russ's spot i thought so too yeah so he has a job offer oil and gas in oklahoma kill me now oh i didn't catch um, that meets with He's the parents so boring so boring the dad thinks pal's shady the parents said they had reservations the dad is an asshole yeah and the mom can get that stick out of her ass oh god so uptight i mean what do you think of the when they show the flashback of what she comes down i for thought she breakfast? looked cute i didn't think it was that inappropriate no. she wasn't wearing fucking negligee she's wearing pajamas you're just right. freaking jealous and you don't want your husband to get a boner you loser she was wearing shorts and a tank top i mean it was a weird outfit cause she had like matching socks but, but it wasn't like what's offensive. wrong with it yeah right. so what she shows skin she's a human right she's also, got it's skin like, she's you got... wake up in the morning people wear weird shit to sleep like you don't know what people are coming down in what, is she supposed know. to wear oklahoma um nightgown that you're wearing patty yeah. i know is that her name yeah oh I didn't she looks know. like a patty huh she totally does she laughs um, like um i was watching the flintstones with the kids she laughs just like betty rubble with um rosie o'donnell's character like, <laughs> like oh my god a, i used to love that flintstone oh my movie. god it wasn't it the best it really was um he's yeah, the like best when, fred flintstone ever like when she said like when they were having the conversation paula and the mom she's like you represent our family and you have to represent it well i'm like you're not the freaking royal family yeah. in england this you're some Meghan random Markle, in, bitch you're in oklahoma city what are you talking about like what are you representing? she is representing it. she's adding something to it that needs right. to be added Totally. Oh, and I like how she, the mom is like just so delusional. She's like, 
and you know when like we weren't getting along i would go speak to other latin women to try it's like what the fuck are you what does that insulting mean? that to, yeah. that's so insulting to what be like what does that oh, mean <laughs> like i talked to other latin women to try to understand you it's like what you understand how big latin america is like what the <laughs> fuck are you talking about what are you yeah right it just shows how delusional and out of touch she is to say like so what does that rude mean? You, could, you could walk up to somebody from like two completely opposite sides of the continent in south america and think that you're speaking to the same type of person like no it's like pow saying well, i talked to a white lady from right. middle america and that, right or, or a white person right and uh you know exactly. i tried to learn about you god it's so crazy um i just found it like so oh, it was so alarming and it's so disturbing. offensive and it just it, it exactly sums up the problem which is like you're trying to like understand her as a latin woman why don't you just get to know her as a person who's married to your fucking son they wanted her, him to marry someone completely different, yeah, and they're totally. flipping out over it. Hundred percent. Now they have. And there's nothing half, wrong with her. A half Latin kid coming. And they're gonna just. They're gonna try to whitewash. It's the Russ's fuck out problem if she wants to take nude pics on the beach. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. his issue. He gets off on it. Oh, totally. And also, it's like, I, yeah. I mean, what are you gonna do about it? It's an adult. Get it's over not a it. Child. So She's stupid. knocked up. Right. She's not here for the green card. Now she's got a baby. They've been together five years, too. That's the other thing. You know what I mean? It's yeah. not like day one. So get over it. That's Grammy, get annoying. your... You're not, she's not coming to Oklahoma, so he no. better find a gas oil that, rig That to kid go is going to be raised in bilingual in Miami. If anyone who's been to Miami knows, it's like, if you don't speak Spanish, you're on your ass. So they better get it together. Yeah, I would love my kids to speak Spanish. They should be learning Spanish. Yeah. You should have them in Yeah, uh, they should. Bilingual. I got to... Yeah, I, I would like to, and I want some. You know, like, um, our friend Munch was in bilingual education to, like, I don't That's know, good. middle school, but she, every time we get in a situation in Mexico where she actually has to speak Spanish, she, like, freezes up and can't say shit. It's really <laughs> not helpful. She was like, I'm much better with, you know, reading it or this. I'm like, you're, not, you're worthless. <laughs> worthless to me. Uh, all right. Ashley and Jay. That was Ugh. wild, though. That mom, such a bitch, and the dad is an asshole totally yeah. Oh, yeah you know who you reminded me of what was the other dad that we hated that was like um ugh, i can't remember who but he reminded yeah. me of another dad. it looks like he would be at russ's baseball games when he was little like screaming in his face telling him he better do better and like yep. just fighting with the other parents yeah and he totally. looks all calm his face gets all red yeah and then he's it. like damn it patty I thought Patty. dinner would be ready. I didn't want fucking pot roast. Where's the meatloaf? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, Ashley and Jay. Ugh, God. Russ is dead behind the eyes. Yeah. Um, Wake up, Russ. Okay, you notice that Ashley and Jay went to Planet Fitness? Yes. Okay, there's oh an Instagram God. everyone should follow called People of Planet Fitness. <laughs> 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 it's absolutely amazing. If it's you a want different breed. It, it's like people eating pizza while they're on the elliptical and shit. <laughs> like you have to, you got to follow it. People of Planet Fitness, it's it's fucking. Planet hilarious. Fitness is like ten bucks. You can tan there for free. <laughs> yes. You can sleep there for free. And the fact that all the machines are purple really trips me out. I understand what that's about. You can get a nice um, disease there for free. Oh my god. Okay, wait. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna send you one. Oh god, you're gonna die. It's a woman. She's in a leopard hat doing leg presses <laughs> eating food while it looks like she's eating maybe like meatballs oh my while god while she's doing leg presses i love her we'll put it on that's our, the american um, dream we'll put it on our instagram so you guys oh can my see god it. um i love her people I follow her around i yeah, so love I, her sneakers oh yeah you see right pink nike cutest sneakers on the planet yeah it does look like we'd be friends i also think that's her walker to the side of the machine <laughs> <laughs> it is. Oh, God. You got to keep her blood moving. Good we'll post it. We'll post this on our Instagram so you guys wow. can see. Wow. Fascinating. Uh, um, oh, okay. So Ashley and Jay. So they do their fake workout. Um, do you notice? So the, fake. The bad Botox she's gotten. 
I saw the Instagrams of it. I wouldn't have oh, noticed people, without it. Okay. Oh my god, I c- couldn't Good stop. Good for you. At you it. have an eye, man. Well, because it's like it. She only got it one part of her forehead, so like the rest of her forehead is moving very awkwardly. It looked terrible. That's what they said. Like in the middle, it was uh, done, oh. but then they're like, "Oh, the temples weren't free." And then- yes, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Um, she's fleeing to New York City with her girls. Um, I feel like these chicks are too old to be. I don't know. Doing it, a night out in the city. I, I I wonder what's going on. I mean, I I I just find it hilarious. Th- that whole situation was hilarious. Those girls. How good was it? Over how there. good was the friend um, with the New York the City hat? <laughs> how fast did she buy that? She need that? Is it freezing? Is it, was, was it, her hair messed up? I was mean, it the same friend that wore that like black see through outfit when they met at the baseball park? Do you remember? It could be. I think it's the same friend. <laughs> I think. I, I actually thought they might have a good time together. Like, you know, it'd be nice to have a group of crazy friends like that. But yeah, I mean, the New York City hat. I was just like, what the fuck? Are you no, doing? that was too much. <laughs> and also she had it like perched up on her head. Like, <laughs> yeah, it like even- the cat in the hat. Yeah, <laughs> yes, it was huge. Terrible. It could fit um, five heads. Yeah. Um, did you notice when she's calling the chick? The name That's in the ridiculous. Phone, skins side chick with like a questioning face emoji. It's so staged. Stupid. it is and oh and she's 16 17 18 or whatever a senior in high school and how old is jay i mean so that's not really it also just shows you how superficial ashley is because she keeps saying like not only is she way heavier than me yeah it's such like, a bitch thing to say right and then she, the other thing she said where i'm like let's talk about like painting with a broad brush she's like listen some jamaicans do get married but most aren't faithful <laughs> it's like what the fuck are you talking what? about it's so rude <laughs> so rude. so offensive it's it's just it's, it's beyond it and really like I, I mean it just that whole jay was raised by a womanizer freak show yeah you know that's not that you can't just say okay well yep that's it i mean some jamaicans get married it's like no what the fuck are you jay about? was raised in a screwed up situation oh my god Fucking i'm mess. sure jay saw his dad having sex a million times over oh 100 percent. different chicks all the time you're 34 you got to call a 17 or 18 year old girl to see if she's fucking she fucked your husband. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. And that okay. do- that girl that he's screwing is closer to your daughter's age than you. Get a life. Yeah. I mean, listen, he's 20 years old, though. So you have to remember, like, what the, what were yeah, you it's not his fault? Yeah. No, no. I Ugh. still he just is like looking at her like, I hate you. Yeah. I just want this card or I want this to be over. Or he's looking at her like. I'm trying to, like they say, I'm trying to remember my lines. It's all fake. It's so fake. I just wish they would get rid of them and Nicole and Aslan. Cause I, it, and yeah. then let's make the show an hour and a half. Save yeah. us some time. Yeah. Sunday night. Who needs to be up till We don't need a hundred uh, couples. No, I really don't. Give, give me the good ones and give me more of them. Don't give me trash. And I thought he didn't screw anyone. Now that she, now she might have been over at the house. They're just coming up with more storylines. Walking into Live, Laugh, Love house. <laughs> Getting ready to party. Banging on the couch. Bringing yeah, McDonald's. Right. And I have problems because it seemed like throughout this whole time, she was in the hospital on her deathbed. I so know. You were feeling bad for She looks pretty freaking healthy. Well, she's getting fresh Botox. I'll tell you that I much. thought, she, yeah, I felt really bad for her. People were giving her money. I know. And I think she was, I don't, I mean, what did she show? She was like sick for weeks at a time, it seemed. Yeah, I just... I don't know. All of Maybe it is I'm dumb. Off, my timeline's off, but yeah, I don't. I, I can't stand it's her. It's so fake. So the Planet fake. Fitness was hilarious. There should be a Planet Fitness TV show. That lady I, that I would the watch. Meatballs is great. Trainers at Planet Fitness. Can you imagine? <laughs> that would be so good. I would watch that all oh, day. It's so cheap. That purple is so identifiable. Oh yeah, it's like it, yeah, you know instantly where they are. And also, just like Housewives, I'm sick of the fake workout shit. Don't don't take me to the gym yeah. to watch you guys pretend like you know how to lift weights. I don't need it. It's ridiculous. <sighs> Any Jay and thoughts? Ashley gotta go. Yeah, they do. Um, no, they could fill up the time with uh, Chuck talking to his wife over dinner martinis. Like yeah. that's what I want to see. I want to yeah. see what Chuck's eating for dinner. What he's barbecuing. Yeah, I want to see like Chuck's a day in the life of Chuck. Yeah, me too. From wake up to 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 sundown, what is he? <laughs> wake up, his body? Chuck! <laughs> wake up, Chuck! <laughs> What's going on? I love Chuck. 
I mean, he's a sucker. <laughs> Such a sucker. I've I still, you know, I, I love him because it's nice that, it, you know, it, it's sweet because you just, it, it's, it's, he's fucking his kids up, but it's also it's sweet unconditional at the same love. time. Right. That he can't, you know, and can't she doesn't stop, say, she doesn't talk to mommy, which is interesting. Of course not. Because mom hates her. Because women, daughters can manipulate their fathers easier than they can manipulate their moms. So That's my sick. opinion, at least. Yeah. <laughs> sick. All right. On that note, <sighs> um, we'll wrap it up. We'll be back next week. And we're only a couple weeks away from 90 Day the Other Way, which looks great. Yeah, it does. Um, so I'm excited for that. And uh, Love After Lockup's coming back in June. Love After too. Lockup might come. Yeah, and we have another package coming so we yeah. could it'll only be a few weeks we'll start from the i'll be like listen i gotta pop this kid out because i gotta talk about love after lockup so. can you be quiet in the hospital room i really need to record <laughs> that love after lockup looks epic oh it looks so good i'm so here for it yeah um, it looks better than 90 day yeah this yeah the, yeah i mean listen there's a couple gems in this season but overall this has kind of been trash Let's and i never you would have asked me first time i would have said throw sergey and or andre whatever the hell his name is out the door <laughs> Sergey. and uh they are really entertaining yep. i wonder what he says when she finds out it wasn't in advance i know uh, how do you explain that all right on that note he's like gonna take the kid and kidnap the daughter and there's gonna be we're gonna Steven, get one there's even part two we're gonna get a um an alert on our phones amber alert god let's hope not all right, all right peeps we'll be back with our bravo episode later in the week and we'll talk then bye guys bye